for the birthday chick. Two times for the birthday chick. Three times for the birthday chick. Go ahead and visit your birthday chick. It's your birthday. We're gonna party like it's your birthday. We're gonna slow down. It's your birthday, birthday. Overwide. Overwide. Oh, you're thirsty. It's your birthday, baby. It's your birthday. Yeah. Who's gonna love you on your worst day? You can't. Cake, 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 cake,
They are all the way from Lesotho. They speak Sesotho. Can you please say Lesotho Basotho Sesotho? Lesotho Basotho Sesotho. Let's try it one more time. Lesotho Basotho Sesotho. Lesotho Basotho Sesotho. Sesotho Lesotho Basotho. Sesotho Lotho Sesotho Basotho. Do it one more time. That's right. Lesotho basotho sesotho. Lesotho basotho sesotho. Sesotho lesotho basotho. Sesotho lesotho basotho. Lesotho basotho sesotho. Lesotho basotho sesotho. One of the independent countries, Lesotho, inside South Africa, we use passport to visit. They also use passport to. And the three wooden cars were there. The highest storage around the metal crawl representing armored halls. The time to be tried. Mr. Nelson Mandela's tribe. We identify them by clicking their tongue whenever they speak. Even if when they sing, they click their tongue. Can you say ka? Ka. 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 Is that the promise? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. You'll find Amakosa down at the east, Eastern Cape. That's where you'll find Tosa speaking tribe. And then above the law, we have the three hearts. Goes over there right in the corner, the leopards, and the beautiful elephants behind you. Representing the last one, Babedi. The sons and daughters of the great king, Sikukule. And they had the reign queen by the name of Queen Mujaji, who had the powers to make the rain to fall and to stop again. They are all the way up in the north, northern province. But we know about all their province, northern province. We call this province Limbo province. The reason why we call it Limbo, it is because there's a huge river over here that separates South Africa and Zima. The name of that river is Limbo River. So the people from the north, they've changed the name to accommodate that the river. So just to add, good friends, I'm going to take you to the villages. Where you see the villages. Once we are there, you're more than welcome to ask for questions. And please take as many pictures as you like. Don't ask for permission, eh? Because of it's on my pain. <laughs> so even this place, don't leave anything behind. Clear all your stuff and then you go about. You go about, that's where we get told. We call it the Jembe. Yeah, the Jembe drum originally comes from Mali, West Africa. Yes, it is said that long time ago they used the drum as a form of communication. Whenever there are ceremonies in their homes, they will use the talking drum to tell the other villagers. So, since when we are the in the Mandalay, we as the city group, we then adopted their style of communicating so that you, as our visitors,
village, the people all the way from KwaZulu Natal. But before I can tell you more about the village, let me quickly explain about the piles of stone that you see over here. This it is the Gutlat place of the Zulus. The name of the Gutlat place, they call it Isivivani. Can you say that? Isivivani. Yes, Isivivani, it is the Gutlat place of the Zulus. Zulus, whenever they take a journey away from their homestead, they need to stop by here. And then once they are here, they'll pick up a stone away from the pile. Make a wish and throw it back inside. By doing that, they are communicating with their ancestors, telling them about the purpose of the journey. That means they'll be asking their ancestors to protect them wherever they are going. Even if when they come back, they need to stop by here and pick up a stone away to tell the ancestors that, yes, we are back. Thank you very much. And then they'll throw it back inside. So I believe all of you would like to go home safely. Mm -hmm. The tricky part about the Isifivani, you won't find a stone nearby it. You right. need to look for a stone. Remember, that's your luck. Okay. So if you wish to pick up a stone, you can find a stone anywhere away from the pipe. You make a wish and then you throw it back inside. Okay. Mm. Share, share. Share. <laughs> yeah, you can share. share. You can share. Share some. <laughs> I found my stone. <laughs> you see, he said the bigger the stone, the bigger the wish. And then he's throwing back inside. That's not a problem. There's no problem. He said, hold my bag. Look. Yeah, she wants to do it. <laughs> I'm strong. Yeah, 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 yeah. The security guard is welcoming us. Mm -mm. We call the security guard employee the Zulu CCTV. Or maybe Zulu ADT. <laughs> <laughs> you may wonder why Zulus have decided to have someone up there. It is because of a long time ago they were fighting for the land. That is why they are more populated in South America. And their gate is always closed. So that we as visitors, we must ask for permission first. Yeah. So that the warrior can tell the chief of the village that there are visitors coming with pigs. So we need to shout out louder saying, Sikule gile ekaya. Sikule ige akaya. Sikule gile ekaya. Passing the message to the chief. Here comes the chief of the village. Hmm. Let's hope that he is happy today. <laughs> The chief is greeting you. You need to respond back to him by saying, Yebo! Yebo! Ninjani. Ninjani. He's asking, How are you doing today? You respond by saying, Sia Pila. Sia Pila. I'm so happy that you are happy today. <laughs> <laughs> Good friends, take a look at my right and left hand side. Those are the Zulu guest houses. So if you like to spend the day or a night with the Zulus, you are more than welcome to do that. And now, a Zulu handshake. Zulus, whenever they greet one another, they use a handshake. And when you greet the chief, this hand should be in front like this. To show that you don't carry any weapon. To attack the chief. Now they go like, Saubona Unjani Giapila. Simply means, hello. How are you? And I'm fine. So let us thank the chief by saying, they call it Isibaya. Mm -hmm. That is where the Zulus put their cows. Now, in this village, for a man to get married, a man he pays 11 cows for one wife. And they say that no cows, no wives. Many cows, many wives. <laughs> but many wives, many problems. <laughs> so you only one problem. I'm not your problem. <laughs> <laughs> they call it a thiba. 
To identify that it is the kitchen, we identify it with the ventilation surrounding the heart. Mm -hmm. Remember, long time ago, Mandulo, we used fire to cook. Yeah. So the ventilation mm -hmm. will take off the smoke. And all the villagers, they use one kitchen to prepare the umbrella. Okay. And right over here, it is the most respected heart in the Zulu home state. Mm -hmm. Their ancestral heart, they call it Indu, Yagakoko. That means the grandmother's heart. Mm -hmm. So Zulus, before they build their hearts, they need to build this one first. And then from there, they need to slaughter a goat. Slaughtering a goat, they will be telling their ancestors that they are starting a new homestead in their village. And heading over the side, you can come closer, we have two Zulu ladies. The unmarried Zulu lady and the married Zulu lady. That is how we identify the unmarried Zulu lady. By wearing the short skirt with a bright colorful attire. She is carrying what they call ukamba, the clay pot, a carafish. They use it to fetch water from the river. That is why they have that ring, they call it inkata. Kata, it means to protect the clay pot, for they walk many miles from the river. And once the lady she is married, we identify her in this proper way. The leather skirt, the figure belt, along with the red hair. Remember, they pair 11 cows. So out of those 11 cows, they need to slaughter one cow to prepare the leather skirt. That will cover the lady's knees to show that now she's no longer single. The name of the leather skirt, they call it Isik Duwaba. And the figure belt, Isifotriya. Zulu ladies, long time ago, after they've given birth, they used to maintain their tummy back to the normal size using this figure belt. Gentlemen, this is not for you. <laughs> no, you need push-ups. <laughs> and the right hand, long time ago, they used to sew it onto their hair, oh. using their hair so that it can stay permanently. Mm. If it's off your head, it's a divorce. Mm. The question, how does she sleep at night? Yeah. During wedding ceremony, during wedding ceremony, a husband needs to hand over a present. Is it creepy? During the night, a comfortable pillow. And during the course of the day, it will become a chain. <laughs> they are smoking by Ikut. Now, the Zulu warriors, they used to smoke marijuana using this pipe. But they were not allowed to smoke in front of their wives and their kids. So they'll go up in the bushes where they will smoke. And then they'll come home later very, very happy. <laughs> <laughs> and hungry also. <laughs> they are hood and platter where they eat. As they use one kitchen to prepare their food, they eat as a family. The spirit of Ubuntu, humanity. Ladies of the village have their own, their husbands along with their kids. And they will use the spoon to dish up. Whenever they eat, they use their hands. You get full quickly and then you sleep, eh? <laughs> the last one before we go, that is their grand storage in Goloban. That's where they put their crops. So after harvesting, they will put all their crops inside. And they've decided to elevate it, to keep whatever's inside, away from the water, and again, away from the naughty animals. And now, my friends, I'm going to take you to their spear making area, where they make their weapons. But before we do that, let us thank the family. See ya, Bonga. See ya, Bonga. Don't forget to take pictures, eh? Are you taking pictures? Yes. 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 much and welcome to the Zulu spear making area where they make their weapon.
It's a very dangerous place, not especially for the ladies. Because of after they've done their work, they need to test it. That means that is where the war will start. But because of I'm here, there's no war to me. <laughs> you must the warrior out by saying, Saubona! Saubona! Yebo! And Zon Kazan and Nikal Zendawu, Mkonto Motelo, or Seven Subaracha, Sansa Bonaracha, Marazu, Amanande, and Patevi Minutan. I give an armor to Tempin called Pa, 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 Twice a Pa. Now came uh, Sansa Kona, Shagazulu's father. He created the long throwing spear. And a long time ago, he used to put two ostrich feathers behind the spear. Whenever he's going to attack, he will throw the spear like a javelin. Because of the feathers behind, the spear will make a beautiful sound while it's in the air. And he called the long throwing spear Isi Papa. Can you say that? Isi Papa. Ah, so Patrick was a We have no good to Baba Kekwala. Shaka figured I'm contacting land. Equa. I like your cool and cool. Don't worry, I'm here. Eh? <laughs> now, came Shagazu as the king of the Zulu people. That is when he realized that his father was a coward. Because of his father, do it. will throw all the weapons onto the enemy. Running out of weapons, doing what? Running back to the regiment. That's why Zulu created his own style of fighting by breaking the long throwing spear, creating a short stepping spear along with the big shoulder for protection, close contact. So whenever he attacks, he will run as fast as he can close to the enemy, close the enemy's weapon using the shield, expose the flank of the enemy. In that way, he will find the spot through the rib cage. When Shagazul stabbed the enemy, he will then twist it. Breaking the ribs, it will make a beautiful sound. <laughs> <laughs> because of that sound, he then called the short stepping spear E. Can you say that? E. Qua. AK 47 for the Zeus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's all about the Zeus, friends. You must thank the warrior by saying, See ya, Bonga. See ya, Bonga. Thank you, too. You can take pictures with the warrior and then you move. Basotho people all the way from Lesotho, one of the independent countries. They are the very peaceful people. As you can see, we just came inside the village without asking for permission. Whenever they greet, they will say Hoto. Hoto, it means peace. So they will greet the Basotho lady by saying Hoto. 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 Hoto, the lady, she's welcoming us. And now she is grinding red corns, soga. She needs to grind it to be powder-like so that she can be able to prepare their soft porridge. The name of their soft porridge, they call it Sikakabula. Can you say that? <laughs> Sikakabula. That is the name of their soft porridge. You know, sometimes they put the same porridge inside the buckets for several days so that it can get fermented. And once it's fermented, they will enjoy the sorghum beer. We call it Bojoala. Basisoto, only one percent alcohol. That means you can drink and drive. <laughs> <laughs> only one percent alcohol. Unless you're lightweight. <laughs> <laughs> and to identify the Basisoto men, we identify them with the blanket, along with the chronicle hat. Now the chronicle hat it represents the famous mountain up in Lesotho, mountain of the night. Tabayabusiu. As you can see, it's shaped like the mountain. And the colorful blanket is to show you that it's very icy cold in the Soto, more especially in winter times. Sometimes we wear the boots, mm -hmm. safety shoes. The reason for that, it is because of our forefathers were the first people to be working in mines to dig gold and diamond. Mm -hmm. And for a man to get married in this village, a man he pays 11 cows plus two Ferraris. Mm. Not an actual car, <laughs> <laughs> but the horse. Remember Ferrari is a horse. Yeah, that's oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> so the Basotho's air horses, the reason being it is because of they are situated up in the mountains. So they use horse as they are transport, running away from their in-laws. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> and right over here, 
This it is our kitchen. The name of the kitchen, we call it the E4. Ladies, any idea why this kitchen is built into four sided figures? One, two, three, four. Ladies, are you here? <laughs> <laughs> why this kitchen is built into four? Any idea? Gentlemen, you can help. The four cups. Four. Mm. Nope. Say, four eyes. Four eyes. Nope. Does it pertain to what, whatever you're cooking? Meat, vegetables, something, something, something? Nope. Oh, well. It's a windbreaker. Mm. Ladies are busy cooking this side, uh, and the wind is them mm. fire. They will move to the other side mm. where there is no wind. Mm. No excuses. It's not to cook. Cook <laughs> <laughs> every day. Eleven cows plus two horses. Very very expensive. And the most important heart in this village, <laughs> their traditional doctor's heart, fortune teller, sangoma. To become a sangoma in our culture, it is not by choice. But it's a calling from your ancestors. It's a gift that you bought mm -hmm. from the early age. You can't refuse that gift. Because of, if you refuse it, your ancestors will punish you. Remember, you are the chosen one. You refuse the gift, you can go crazy. You can get paralyzed. Even worse, you can sleep and never wake up. That means you'll be dead. <laughs> <laughs> so if they call you, all you need to do is to leave everything behind and follow the gift. Because of traditional doctors, they are playing a major role in our African culture. Once you get sick, we consult them. We do ceremonies in the homestead, we consult them. Their ability to communicate and connect with our ancestors. They throw down the bones and then they can tell you more about your future. Mm. So they are playing a major role in our culture. So let us thank the lady by saying Ria Lebu Ha. Ria Lebu Ha. Basutus, they say that they have two reasons. The first reason, they say that ladies cannot keep secrets. <laughs> <laughs> That's not me. <laughs> That's what I heard. And the second reason, it is because of the small heart over here. This it is our initiation heart. That is where we used to put boys inside from the age of 13 years for three weeks inside. And then another three weeks, they visit the mountains. That is where the initiation will take place. When I'm talking about the initiation, good friends, I'm talking about the circumcision. When a boy becomes a man. So we the Basutus, we put boys inside to train their mindset. Because of remember, once you visit the mountain, it is the survival of the fittest. There is no mama, there is no papa, there is no relatives. You need to survive. Some other boys, they don't make it up there. Some of them, they die because of they can't handle the heat. But if you made it, coming back home, the celebration will take place. Our traditional doctors will be there, along with the family, to celebrate you that you no longer a boy, you are a man. You are ready to take care of the legacy of the family. I can't go further about the initiation school, because of ladies are here. Remember, they can't keep secrets. <laughs> <laughs> and I still need my job. <laughs> so certain men visit me other <laughs> 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 it is Mr. Mandela's village. As I said down there that we identify them by clicking their tongue. And you promise that you're going to learn once we are here. Go wrong, I think. Can you kindly say these words after me? Alawam uyakambandia kukakagum kabelo. Guys, I thought you were waiting as a teacher. <laughs> 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 All right, let's try it slowly. Um, alawami, 
Alawami. Uyak Akamba. Anyway, you just said that you throw the soul. <laughs> and right over there, it is a meeting place. They call it Inkunta. Gathering place for men. Sorry, ladies. Don't feel offended, please. Because of at least we have a special place for you in the kitchen. <laughs> And the big rocks over there, that is the cattle yeah, crawl, that is where they put their cows. Now the gate of the Tosas cattle crawl is facing up to the main heart. The reason for that is for the chief of the village. Whenever he wakes up in the morning, the first thing that they want to see are the cows, not his wife. Mm -hmm. Remember, no cows, no wife. <laughs> so you need to start with your cows and then you go inside the room, good morning baby, how are you? <laughs> If you say good morning first, they will steal your cows. <laughs> so now you're about to visit that inside your main heart. The rules of the heart. Once we, visit, we go inside, ladies, you sit on the right hand side. Gentlemen, we go on the left hand side. So let us greet the family up there by saying, Molweni Ekaya. Molweni Ekaya. Away, not away. No, away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go. Of the direction of the road. You see, once they are inside their main heart, they're discussing the matters that affect their village. So they need to close the door. So if it happens that the enemies are here to attack the people, the first thing that the enemy will do will kick the door by force. So ladies of the village will be behind the door, sitting down flat, carrying their little ones. The enemies won't notice that there are ladies on the right hand side. Men of the village, they are sitting up, they will be exposed. To jump over those enemies to protect their loved ones. It is why they are sitting in this proper manner. For a man to get married in this village, a man he pays 12 cows for one night. And when you marry from a real family, as a man, you pay 26 cows. Mm. Inflation. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I live over here. She's going to grind white corn, maize. She needs to grind it to be powder like. So that she can be able to prepare their homegrown maize, the name of their homegrown maize, they call it umpoko o. Can you say that? Umpoko o. Umpoko o. Two different smoking pipes, the long one and the short one. Ladies, which one belongs to you? The short one. The long. The long one. The short one or the long one? The short one. The short one. Do you all agree, ladies? The long one. <laughs> An another one? Another one? Ladies? Which one? Long. Long? Mm -hmm. Majority. Ladies, this is for the ladies, gentlemen. You know why? Because of ladies are the ones who carry babies behind their back. Mm -hmm. So smoking, while you're carrying your baby, the smoke won't harm the baby. Mm -hmm. oh. mm -hmm. Short one belongs to the gentlemen because of they love strong tobacco. Like marijuana. Mm -hmm. So that means with a split of a second, nicotine will come strong, hit the lung, and the poor gentleman dies quickly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> so to appreciate your visit, the family is going to sing a very wonderful song that was made popular by our late legend, Mama Africa. Thank you.
Mm -mm. I could focus on it. It's a big cricket. Oh. I can't let jump you I know. <laughs> it's a big cricket thing. Black and white. My good friends, this is our last village, baby village. The sons and daughters of the great king Sikukune, and they had the rain queen by the name of Queen Judge. So, if I tell you more, let us greet the family by saying Tobela. 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 Tobela, the family is welcoming us. And this it is their meeting place, Koro. That's where you find men of the village always sitting here. At least for a change, ladies are allowed to be in this meeting place <laughs> by bringing food and beer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how we identify the petty men by wearing their Scottish kilts. You may wonder why Scottish kilts in Southern Africa. They had a war long time ago against the British Army. And then the British teamed up with the Scottish Highlanders. They put the Scottish in front wearing their scouts while the British were behind in long trousers killing guns. So in our culture, no man is allowed to raise a weapon or a hand against the women. That is one chief of the pedis shouting to his warriors, please don't kill those beautiful ladies in front. Go for the men behind. Mm. By doing that, they lost the battle. Because of the didn't fight what they thought was an army of women. And then the surviving warriors, they then adopted the Scottish kilts as the remembrance of their freedom. Even today, they are still wearing the skills proudly because of it's a good story to tell for the upcoming generations. Mm. And for a man to get married in this village, a man he pays 13 cows, mm. one three for one wife. Mm. They don't marry out of prettiness. They say that pretty ladies are pretty lazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's not me. <laughs> <laughs> but if she's pretty and a hard worker, it's a bonus for them. As you can hear that sound, instead of grinding, she needs to pound the nails three times per day so that they can get something to eat. And after doing it, she's going to kneel down, polishing the floor with cow dung. Cow shit. Mm. But here in South Africa, we call it South African mosquito repellent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember, cows, whenever they're out for grazing, they're eating different herbs. Mm -hmm. So once it's dry, you won't see any flies or mosquitoes in your village. And they have something special for us today. The caterpillars. Mopani worms. Dried mopani worms. Very high in protein. Crunchy and salty. Mm. Caterpillar. No. Oh. Not she. No. It's not a. Not bad. That's crunchy and salty. It's like a dried fish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh my goodness. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Salty. 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 Salty.
Mm-hmm. 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 Just salty. Yeah, just salty. salty. Yeah. Yeah. No I'll let you know later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the last time before you go, good friends, inside their homestead, be held in their village. That means they'll be asking their ancestors to celebrate with them wherever they are and protect them. Never start any ceremony without pouring down first. Even if it's water, we need to do that. To honor those people who passed on before us in this land. So that's all about the peace. And let's thank them by saying, Realebowa. Realebowa. Thank you too. Did we just eat them a honey worm? Yes, we did. We ate a worm. <laughs>
just a dance that is all it is called Ingomayamahao Amangane, the small shield dance. So this dance was introduced by King Shagazu during the introduction of the short stepping spear and the big shield for protection. It's a war dance. I mean, this is how we show our families back in the villages what was happening during the war. But we are showing them in the dance form. And then the last one, together with the ladies, we call it Isikenyane. Isikenyane, it is the hunting dance. So now, my friends, you tell me, what do we do after hunting and killing the animals from the bushes? What do we do? Oh, we need to bring all the animals back home so that we can share the meat with our families. Okay. Remember, they are very, very hungry back home. And the mistake that we don't do, it is to put the animals on the fire with the skin. No, we don't do that. So what do we do? Skin. Skin. Skin the animals. And remember, we need all the skins for cloth. Mm. And after our stomachs are full, I mean full and hot, that is where the celebration starts. So, boom.
Drinks do you have? Uh, cold spring soda. You got Asian? Yeah. Fanta orange. You got Coca Zero? Oh, yes. Coca Zero. Another one. Yeah. Coke. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So guys, as you know, um, I lost both of my parents not too long ago, and uh, my mom always wanted to come to Africa, so I brought some little tokens that represent my mom and my dad, and I was trying to find a place my whole trip where to put it, and um, I saw this tree that was kind of split into two, and um, I put it there by the trunk of the tree with the little opening. Um, this was my way to bring them along with me on this journey and um, in remembrance of my lost ancestors. So, yeah, guys, don't think I'm weird. You know, I love to hug trees and, and ground and all that good stuff. So um, this just I was just thanking my ancestors at this moment for walking with me on this journey. OK, guys, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and stay tuned for the other half of what we did for Tweety's birthday. All right, guys, see you next time. Bye.